be in, what's the next step as far as imaging? What's, what's the imaging that you want to get for this patient? Um, so right now you showed me an AP of the hip. Uh, pelvis x-rays are important so we can see what, uh, so we can see what their normal hip morphology looks like. Um, everybody's hips a little bit different. I, I know we'll go into some of that anatomy here as we go, but um, you really want to see what that other femoral neck looks like so that you have an idea of what normal is for this patient. Um, looks like there is, a, looks to me like this is a more basicervical um, type of injury. So um, a little bit more, I would personally treat this a little bit more um, as an extra capsular fracture. Um, you see a little bit of greater trochanter involvement as well on that x-ray. Uh, the lateral view is gonna be really important to understand what's going on in the, in the A to P plane when, we, when it's time for us to get a good fracture reduction. Um, and if we aren't sure, I think a, a shout out, first of all, to the, uh, to the gravity, or to the gravity stress, that's not necessary. <laughs> um, a, sh a shout out to the uh, traction, X-ray uh, is really important. That'll help us understand exactly what this fracture pattern is. Yeah, you can't I get like that, that, or you try that, and it's still not uh, doesn't give you enough information to be comfortable. Then a CT scan is always a uh, is always appropriate when you don't under, when you don't understand the fracture pattern. Yeah, and just to kind of sum that up. So again, we want X-rays of the of the fractured hip. You want an AP pelvis. You want to assess. Uh, um, the other, the contralateral femoral neck, um, you know, we typically sometimes get a, a whole, of course, a x-ray of the femur, the, the entire femur. Um, and then, so you also said, you know, you sometimes will get a CT scan. So what, are, what, in what cases are you getting a CT scan? Are you getting it for every case or somewhere it's kind of like a questionable, um, questionable femoral displacement or when are you getting a CT scan? For me, a CT scan is helpful when I don't fully understand the fracture pattern. If I see, um, you know, it looks like maybe there's some, and we're, we're trying to decide, is this really displaced or is this um, impacted and the lateral view doesn't help, for example? Um, or is this, you know, is this basic cervical or is it a transcervical fracture? Where does it fall? I think that's helpful. Um, and then sometimes, you know, this CT scan you're showing has a little bit of uh, a little bit of arthritic change in the hip. Um, if, if you're worried that there might be a cyst or you're worried about some potential um, pathologic fracture, uh, then I think CT can help in that, those settings as well. What if, um, I guess, what, in what settings are you thinking about doing a MRI to, to kind of zone in on these types of fractures as well? Sure, so to me, the MRI is helpful um, in two settings. Number one, they have normal x-rays and can't bear weight. So that patient to me deserves an MRI to rule out a stress fracture. Um, and then the other patient that I, I think an MRI is really helpful for is in the greater trochanter fracture. Um, when you see a greater trochanter fracture and the patient doesn't want to bear weight, um, we really should be suspicious of a, a cult intertroch fracture. Um, and so those are the two settings when I, when I like to use MRI. And then I, I guess the last one would be um, sometimes in the in tumor workup as well. You can ah, makes perfect sense. So if there's a greater troch fracture, you want to be on the lookout for an occult intertroch fracture. If somebody's having uh, pain, and x-ray films are normal you really can't notice anything and then if they're having a you know if you're doing some type of tumor oncological workup those are times you may consider an mri um, for these types of injuries uh, i think we did a good job talking about the imaging we spoke about the x-rays to get you know you always want to examine both femoral necks examine the joint above and below um, and of course assess for any type of displacement on your ap or lateral but so once we have our x-rays and we 